everyone, this is Rosa Kelly and today I wanted to come out and share with you my completed album from my trip to Peru. Now, I am from Peru, so I go there a lot. But this trip was so special because it was the first time my husband and my kids went with me. Um, and this particularly is for our trip to Cusco and Machu Picchu. And that was just my husband and me because the girls stay with my brother in Lima. And it's, it was like a second honeymoon. So I, I loved every, every part of that trip. So I wanted to document it with a very special album. And as you can see, my album turned out to be super, super big. And I mean, we had a lot of pictures. And I was able to fit all the pictures here. And I believe I have about 80 pictures or so. So I did a process video of how I transformed this beautiful photo album that I bought over there into this mini album because the photo albums um, were a little bit you know plain on the inside for my taste so I really wanted to keep these original covers and just make it into what I love which is mini albums so this is a leather painted uh, piece of art from the original album and this is the back right here isn't it gorgeous and I just love it so I complemented this album using um, this paper pad the no problem llama and I got this one some time ago at, at Joanne's and I know they still have it I loved it it's so colorful and fun so now what I didn't it didn't go with my team is the fact that it has all these cactuses I mean the llamas are cute but you won't find cactuses in Machu Picchu or, <laughs> or anywhere up there in the mountains but um, so I try to avoid that part and then I also use this llama love paper from the hat by and Michael's just recently and this is what motivated me to get this album done and ready finally and I just love, love, love these images and the paper. So I try to use everything that was related to llamas. And then also I printed out some images on the internet and you will find them here of beautiful Peruvian colorful art. So let's get started. So this is one of the images that I printed out from the internet and I just love love it so this would open up like this and it closes up with a magnet and these are pictures of the city of Cusco and this is a picture of this rock which is a very famous rock it has 12 angles so I think it's uh, has the most angles ever on a rock so that was one of those super pretty rocks and that's just me by it and then I embellish my albums with different trims and and this is the part that I didn't show everything on my video because my process video was getting very, very long. Um, but yeah, I added some flowers and these flowers are summer recollections and some are primas uh, flowers. And then I added some different trims and laces from my stash and they're mostly from Joann's. So these will flip up. And I just love the paper. And you're going to find a lot of selfies in this picture. Because it was just me and him. And how many pictures, how many selfies can you take? <laughs> right? Quite a lot, actually. So I did an accordion fold here. Oh, and actually opens one more time. And I, like I said, I was able to fit a lot, a lot of pictures on this album. And this is a cute little llama sticker that I had hanging on my stash for the longest time. So each insert has two photos and I did this using my Martha Stewart paper punch. And this is a picture of him and I when we went to a club uh, in, Machu, in Cusco, not Machu Picchu. But that was so fun. We were so <laughs> glad we didn't get the altitude sick on the first day but then on the day before we went to Machu Picchu we were there for five days my husband got so sick oh my god I was so scared he got um he got the chills he was shaking I think it's something he might have ate but we were glad we made it to to Machu Picchu because I thought we we're gonna have to cancel that that um uh, you know that tour 
so this is again another image from the paper collection from one of them and these are prima flowers and then i added some trim on the bottom here and this just opens to the side one time and this is pictures of us in a restaurant i think and that's that page here i printed out this other amazing image let me give you a little close-up here i just love that colorful art beautiful and then here is this is just a pocket and i made two cards another image from the internet and these are pictures of him eating alpaca it was so good it tastes just like steak and then a beautiful river and this picture i took from the from the train and then here it's another uh, these are the streets behind the main plaza. Um, so when you start walking the streets behind them, we walk pretty far. We're going up and up and up. Um, you will see these little rocky roads and they are houses actually. And they go all the way up. You can go up the stairs and then you get a wonderful view of the city up there. So I haven't add my journaling yet, but I will add some tags uh, with journaling so we remember this trip forever so again this is just a block away from the main plaza and the streets are so narrow and that's my house and look how narrow the streets are but they are it's just so mystical and all these little doors here you walk into these little doors and there is like a restaurant or a pub and they're all super decorated so it's very fun and yeah i just took a picture next to this this is a how like a Kind of like apartments, I guess, but that's the main entry. Wouldn't you want to live somewhere and this is your main entry? What? So fun. Okay, so then let me speed up this. I'm going to leave this one out for now. Um, so here, this is a picture of a beautiful Vicuña. And listen, she's so cute. That's from the internet as well. And I made a photo mat here. And this is a picture. And this was a different town. This was a town three hours away from Cusco where you take the train to go to Machu Picchu. And we stayed here for a couple uh actually we stayed here for a whole day and then the next day we took the train to machu picchu but this is the view from our hotel uh, it's not more like a bed and breakfast kind of place and there's all these ruins and people were walking up here um it's a different kind of ruins but we didn't make it because this was the day that my husband got a little sick so here is a little, made a little photo book you've seen these beautiful mountains from the paper collection and i added a little butterfly there and these are more pictures of those ruins from the roof deck of our bed and breakfast so on this location we made this amazing other couple and they were so nice they, they are they were from argentina and they were also on their vacation, first time there. So we were hanging out with them for that whole day. So that's a beautiful uh, memory to keep them here. And more pictures of the landscape. And that's a close-up of those ruins. And it looks small, but the people walking up there were like tiny, tiny. That, it was kind of far, far, far away. So here is more close-ups of, of that. And then here, this is a little pocket. Or I left this open so I can add a little journaling tag in there. So this page, it's just a picture of me and my husband. And I just wanted to keep this plain because my album, as you can see, after I added the pictures and embellishments, was getting chunky. Uh, this is a selfie of me with this beautiful little, uh, this is just a little walkway and there's a house. So people live here. It's, it's amazing. It's so mystical and more of that landscape okay so on this side i printed out this image of machu picchu this is the day that we made it to machu picchu and i just love this picture and the spread so these are recollection flowers and a cute little llama over here and then i added some trim and this opens up and again that you're gonna see a lot of selfies of me and my husband and you know just pictures that we were just having fun exploring. Like I said, it was almost like a second honeymoon for us. And another beautiful picture of Machu Picchu. And this is, um, I took this picture, so it's so nice. And then here, it's a little journaling uh, tag. And I still, like I said, have to do my journaling. 
So this also opens up with a magnet and amazing um, photos from Machu Picchu. So this is a picture down in Aguas Calientes before you, you take the bus to go to Machu Picchu because Machu Picchu is on top of the mountain you have to take a train and then you have to take a bus if you want you could climb it up which I've done in the past but not this time because my husband was a little sick so we took the bus and that was a picture of us when we arrived there after the train right and again this is this is the view of that little town it's just a river in the middle and then it was just fun. And there's a lot of shops and restaurants on that area. So you can actually spend a day exploring that. So next here, I made this other little uh, photo booklet. And this opens down and up for a lot more pictures. And these are all pictures in the ruins itself. And him and me. And look at the size of those rocks are gigantic. So where I am here is... The station where, or the place that they call the working area, and that's where um, they will ca uh, carve the rocks and make them, you know, they will carve the rocks and make them kind of like square to be able to, to make, you know, entryways and buildings and rooms and all that stuff they have up there. Another little pocket, and this one says, no problem, llama, and this is a prima flower. And similar to the other one, I made two photo tags or photo little booklets. And this opens up like that. And then I took a picture of my husband taking a selfie. And this was a cleft. So I was shaking because I'm kind of afraid of heights a little bit. So I was like, stop moving. But then I took a picture from far away. <laughs> and we saw a little chinchilla hanging out in Machu Picchu. So we took a picture of that. And I really love this little llama. It says, I like you with double L's. And this is a picture of their ceremonial um, area. I think it's called the condor. These rocks are carved in a way that looks like a condor when you go from up. From higher up, you can see the whole shape. And this is where they did like offerings and rituals and things like that. And this is another landscape from picture from the rooftop that I wasn't able to fit before. And another picture of us two arriving to Machu Picchu. And for the last two here, I made another uh, pull-up picture. And this is a selfie with me and a llama. I look so weird, but I just love it. We should put something that says twins over here or something like that. And more llamas eating some grass. They're just so cute. They're hanging out in there in Machu Picchu. And in the grass, you'll find them everywhere. And then, last but not least, because I really wanted to fit all my pictures on one album, I made a waterfall. And I put another little llama sticker. And these are Jolie stickers. And they are super soft. Anyway, so let me open this up. This little Peru sign I took from a little... This is like a little catalog that I have and it talks all about Peru and places to explore and things like that. So I took one of the pages and I got that out and this is a waterfall and this is a little stamp from the internet and then more, more wonderful pictures of our adventures in Machu Picchu like walking down the hills. It's just so much to explore. And I'm just so happy we made it. Because like I said, my husband was very, very sick just the night before. And here's a picture of the condo from um, from the top. It's kind of hard to see. You really definitely have to go visit uh, this beautiful, amazing place. So look at this. I took a picture of this from up there. I think they were fixing the landscape. But look at this little llama just laying in the grass. It's so cute. Um, and then we got up close and there was a little baby llama that was just born two days before we arrived there, they told us. And they're already walking when they're born. And she's so, so cute with her mommy over there. Okay, so that is it for my album. Um, I'm glad I was able to share my beautiful trip with you. I usually don't um, do the videos until I finish you know I put the pictures after I finish showing you the video but I'm happy that you get to see a little bit of my trip 
so i want to thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this so let me know what you think so have a wonderful day bye bye